Good morning. I'm back out on the trail and today it's a Tuesday morning. Notice the sun was shining outside and we've got a bit of rain tomorrow. So I thought I'll bring myself out for a hike. So I've come to the Lake District today and I'm going to take on Route 19 of walking the Wayne Wrights in 36 walk and it's the Coniston Fells. So there's going to be seven Wayne Wrights today. They're all over 700 metres, so it's going to be a good steep climb up. It should level out a little bit. We've got Weatherlam, Swirl Howe, Great Cars, Grey Friar, Brimfell, Coniston Old Man and Dow Crag. I thought this would be a really good place to come because obviously, hopefully you've watched on my channel the Cumbria Way, which I did just a couple of weeks ago. Amazing, really enjoyed that. And obviously I went through Coniston and saw it, saw Old Man and I thought, yeah, I need to get up there. There's some dark clouds looming. Mistakes could have been made, but we'll see. How lovely and clear the water is down there. I'm really going to be too warm in this, I might have to take it off. We'll see how we go. Cap's going to go on in a bit, my hair's annoying me already. Quite a standard one. Nice. A few people ahead, I didn't think there'd be many out today on a Tuesday, but let's just get past them. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Drop a comment below, let me know who you are and whether you watch the other videos and what you thought of them, hopefully you like them. And if this is your first time here, my name's Chris, I'm based in Manchester. I'm a wild camper, hiker, photographer. And this is what I do, I get out quite a lot in the Lake District, Wales, bit of camping and some long distance hikes as well. And I've got some really good adventures planned for this year, which I'll let you all know about in another couple of videos. But for now, we've got a steep, sharp ascent, I think, to get up to about 700 meters. This is where we're going today, up on the top ridge, up for now, up there we go. As you can see I've just gone past these lads. No knee brace today either, left it in the car, could be a mistake that. It's about 19 kilometres today, so the distance isn't too bad, it's just a little bit steep. Hopefully it should take around five hours and it's a late start today, half past nine start. Right, let me put the camera away so I can stop blowing. <laughs> Get the poles out nice and early today. It just helps. I've got rid of that thicker jumper. I don't know it looks like I've got another top on. This is super lightweight, but it's windproof as well, so it's nice and cool. Coniston in the background. Oh, feels better with a hat on as well. Back to all my orange. Look, I've even got a new pair of Adidas Terex. Orange again. Keep it on brand. That's how I roll. <laughs> so if you do this route, once you come along this path, you'll see it carries on, but you don't go up there. You take this path up here onto this top over here. So just be mindful of this little left turn. Yes, I am human. Even I have to take a break every now and then. Oh, Whew. oh feeling it. Steep climb up. Yeah, that other path would have taken us over there. And I presume that's, uh, I'm guessing that's Windermere over there, maybe. I could be wrong. A bit misty over there, which is where it's coming in from. Got that lovely spongy ground you can hear. Onwards and upwards. Oh, come on, Chris, just, will you just walk it and stop walking by the camera? <laughs> Lovely. Not a breath of wind. Perfectly silent. A little tarn over there. Literally not a breath of wind. Beautiful. It's forecast 30 mile an hour today. Maybe in a bit, but nothing yet. Coniston at the bottom there. And that path that you can see, I don't know if you can see it, that jiggity jaggedy path. That's what I walked by. I went all the way around Coniston last, a couple of weeks ago on the Cumbria Way. Wow, 
houses. Ooh, look at the view. The clouds looking a little bit dark. This is where the weather's coming from as well. <sighs> Hopefully it's all right. I'm in my shorts. I have got a jacket in my bag if it rains. Well, let's hope it doesn't rain. Just approaching one of the many cairns that you see in the lakes. Now this isn't the top of a summit. These are in bad weather that to mark the pathway. Just in case the weather comes in and you struggle to see the path, just helps you for navigation. Great idea. But today we're using the watch. Shouldn't go wrong with that. And as always, I've got a battery charger in my bag and I've got the route on my phone as well downloaded just in case. I've got a feeling this is where we're going in a bit. So look, all the clouds hugging this for now. I think we're heading up here. So far, so good. It's 10 to 11. Been going for an hour and 17. getting cooler how we get and just in the distance where you can see those two people it's the first summit of the day Weatherlum, our first weighing right and that is 763 meters over there next let's go and touch the can on in Yeah, so that's the first one done. And the next one is Swirl How at 802 meters. So we've got to go up a little bit for that one. And I think that's the same height as Coniston, old man. I might be wrong. Very similar anyway. Yeah, look how great that is when you're out this, when you're out of the wind. I presume this is our path in the middle here and going up to the top and over there. Whoa, certainly blowing a hoolie now. this is the right way but it's a way down quicker than the path just gonna try and skirt across to get to that there hopefully you can hear me with the wind I just wanted to say apologies for no video last week as well hopefully you saw my community post when I put out the series over a few days it just makes sense usually to skip the next week because I've given you so many videos that week um, and thank you for all of your feedback. I had some messages and some comments below about how you like the videos to be released. And quite a lot of people agreed and said, when I do a series or a long day hike, long multi-day hike, they like to get them every day. So that's what I will do. And I'll do my best to try and get ahead of my video so you don't miss a week as well. I've been planning for my own business and also for some future content for the channel as well. So I've been working on a few things which hopefully should come off very soon and I can make you aware of what those are but yeah, should give some, uh, some fun content for the channel Woo! Oh, I didn't film it but I've just climbed up there uh, just come off the trail a little bit I noticed on my, um, on my watch there was another summit and it's not a Wainwright but it's called Black Sail so I just quickly ran to the top of there just to bag that one as well I didn't film it, but it'll be on my Strava route, which is linked. As all my videos are, if you read in the description below, if you scroll down to where all the um, my social media links are, I always put a link to the route on Strava. So if anyone wants to use this route, feel free, follow me on Strava. Nearly fell then. <laughs> follow me on Strava and um, yeah, and just download the route and follow it. If you go on Strava on the website, you can download it. Okay, so we've just come into a little bit of a dip now, and this is what we're going up now. So we're making our way up here into the clown and clag and eventually we're going over these. It's not the ascent that's bothering me, it's the, it's the clag. I might have to get my jacket on, looks like it's going to be wet up here. Brilliant. <laughs> it's a steep one. 
Right, let's get the poles out. Let's crack on. So we've got a little bit of a climb now. This is a steep climb going up to the second way right of the day. I can't remember the name of it. I'll flip the camera around into the clag, as you can see. Well, yeah, as long as it stays dry. But I've heard someone just said the rain's coming in at two o'clock. So we're 100% going to get caught in that later. Just a shame there's no views now. It's a while since we've had this 360 camera out. It's just too much to take on the long distance hikes. I'll save them for when I have scrambles or big ridge walks. There's another cairn marking the way just ahead. As you can probably hear, <laughs> it's got a little bit windy now. And we're in the clag. Officially in the clag. This is that ridge line up here which we can't see anymore. We're still enjoying it and touch wood. <laughs> it's not wet yet. And this here is Swirl How 802 meters. Here we go. No view to speak of though. I just need to work out which way we're going now. I think it's just straight over. This is taking us to the summit of Grey Cars. It's seven, eight, five meters. Let's get up there. Whew. It's cold. Grey Cars, seven hundred eighty-five meters. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Absolutely pea soup. Bottom here. That's another one done. Right, let's keep going. Drop out of this cloud. Woo! The clouds have just revealed where we're going next. Our next ascent. You can tell it's cold. Look at the people, other people we're seeing all fully dressed up. <laughs> Coats, pants. <laughs> it's been shorts. And I've only got a t-shirt under this. Also, is it just me? I love it when you see people quite far ahead of you. I see it's a little target. I know it's not a race, it's here to enjoy it, but I see people in front and I'm like, right, my goal. I want to get past them before I get to, you know, a certain rock. To be honest with you, it's good to move a little bit quicker as well because I want to beat the rain. The rain's due in later. And I do not want to get stuck in that. Morning. Morning. Is it still morning? <laughs> I think so. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too sure when I said that. Oh, it is 11.57. Just, oh, is it? <laughs> just about. Where are you heading for after this one? Um, eventually, um, Old Man of Coniston and is it Dow Crag? There's oh, yeah. seven Wainwrights today. Yeah. What are you doing yourselves? Oh, just doing three. <laughs> Which ones? Are, swirl how? And great cars, and then, and then this one. We're doing those three tomorrow. Ah, brilliant. So, is there a way down from this one, or are you going to come back the way you came? There's meant to be a path on the top. Ah, right. People have written that they actually they couldn't find it. Oh, really? <laughs> so, anyhow, we'll keep looking, and if not, we're just going to go down. Have you got a GPS with you, or have you just got my. Yeah, we have. Ah, right, yeah, you should see it on there. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Have a good day. You too. Well, as to be said, my thighs whew, feeling it today. Just my bum, my quads just above my knees. They're cramping up a little bit. What I normally bring on a hike, I don't normally drink a lot of water and I've got a bottle of water in my bag which I'm going to have a drink of now. But I normally bring electrolytes and they're brilliant. I use them all the time on my long distance hikes. I never drink clean water, well, water on its own. I tend to drop an electrolyte in it. It just helps you and I think it stops you getting cramp and things like that. And it's quite funny that I didn't bring them today. And now I'm feeling cramping up in my legs. They're in the car. So next time, or I advise, whenever you come, bring some electrolytes. Just crack a tablet, drop it in your water, it adds to the taste as well. And it really does help. And this distance there, you can see somebody just approaching it. This is the summit of Grey Friar, which is 770 meters. And we can see him. The guy just disappearing into the background there. I didn't want to put him on camera, but yeah. He, uh, he's doing four Wayne rights today. And he's only got five left after that. <laughs> he's nearly there out of 214, which is a fantastic achievement. So good luck to him. I did wish him well. I've got loads to go. I don't even know how many I've done. 
but I enjoy doing them in this 36 walks because they're challenging some long steep ones here we go all right let's touch the cairn oh there's a nice little rock on top as well look at this oh there we go look at that one there we go ah look at the views every time i get to a cairn it's clagged over this reminds me of when i went up with nick to um where did we go the, around the, was it around the Langdales? I can't remember now, a few videos ago. It was really windy then though, but it was, yeah, claggy like this. Oh well. Okay, what have we got? I don't even know what we've got next. But I'll just keep pushing on. So you can kind of see the red line that I took, and at the bottom is Grey Friars. You have to kind of come back on yourself. So this is like a little leg that sticks out. So we're going to retrace our steps towards another one called Fairfield I don't know if it's the, the Fairfield but we're going to go around and then we, we curve to the right and go over all the all the, the other tops feeling all sprightly again now it's the uphills today that are burning me the downhills are all right so yeah we've just got to get up onto this little ridge again and then to the right so as you can kind of see here there's a there's a there's a split three ways it goes to the left up is where I've just came from before and the right is where I'm going now along the side Oh, while I'm walking as well, I'll just update you. I've been looking into doing my mountain leaders, summer mountain leaders course, and I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm looking to book it at the end of June, um, and it's a four to five day course. Um, you've got to have done 20 quality mountain mountain days, so I've already I've already kind of signed up my log book and completed all that. I'm fully up to date with all, all my logs of what I would need. So yeah, I'm gonna do my mountain leaders course. Um, and I'm looking forward to it so let me know below if anybody else has done it I'd love to know who you did it with and how you found it or you know if there's any tips for where I can where I can learn about it before before I go to get ahead of the game do a little bit of research that'd be good but yeah I'm looking forward to doing that um yeah let's go high I think oh what are you doing to me let's just get round this <laughs> no there we go, another cairn marking the way. Time to change up the gear a little. Whoa. A little bit cold now. I put the sunglasses off and everything looks clearer. <laughs> Looked a lot worse before. Still following this path. It's cleared a little bit on the tops. But we just keep coming in and out of the rain, so I'm just going to leave my jacket on. It keeps me warm anyway. If you're still watching the video, thank you. <laughs> Drop a like below, it really, really does help the channel. I've been really pleased with how it's been growing as well. Uh, this morning we were on 730 subscribers, which is brilliant. Um, I was only on 200 at the start of the year, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Let's try and get to that thousand. When I get to a thousand, I will do something as well. I might do a little giveaway. I will, I'll do a giveaway at a thousand. So share with your friends, <laughs> share on your Facebook, get them, to, get them to join on and subscribe. I appreciate it. Beautiful. Look at that now. Come on, son, make your way up here. There we go. All the way over, over these. Whew. See how fast the clouds are moving in. Whizzing over. Gonna have a little sit down at one of the marker cairns and have some water because I'm cramping up a little bit my legs. Oh. And I've got my water filter as well just in case I need to top up in a bit. This'll do before I get some beers later. <laughs> but yeah, legs are burning a little bit. Right, so we just had five minutes there, I had some water, I feel a bit better now. Again, sun's shining down there, but it's not shining where I am, it's raining. And we're going up there into more clag and rain. There's loads of little cairns on here, you can't go wrong. Just approaching the summit of Brimfrell, 796 metres. Another tall one. 
summit now there we go brilliant behind me is old man of coniston i've decided i'm not going to it yet i'm going to do it last so i was just about to go up to it then but you can get down that way and go past the mines which i want to do i don't need to do any of that but i need to do dow crag there so what i'm going to do before i do coniston i'm going to go up here now i'm going to go go to the top of there tag it and i'm going to come back and I'm going to finish at Old Man Coniston and then I can go down by the slate mines which is the windy track going down but I want to see that the old, you know, the old all the cables are left behind and things like that so yeah, that's the plan so I'm going to abandon my route a little bit still going to hit the same way right but I'm just going to tick this one off first so I'll follow this path round down to the bottom and up we go I keep getting cramped in my legs my quads definitely dehydrated today and I literally was up just before the summit and I've come all the way down here and I've got to go all the way back up there after this what are you looking at getting there Woo. right this here looks like the summit of Dow Crag here just ditch my poles climb up here without getting cramp let's get right to the top one there we go Summit of Dow Crag, 778 meters. What you can't see there is Coniston, which I was up there before. I've got to get all the way up there again, which is going to be a nightmare. Let me get down. Let's get up there. Come on. Woo. Look at this coming in now. Oh my God. Oh dear. Yeah, no filming for a little bit. I really, really need to start motoring on. Because it's raining, it's windy, looks like there's a storm coming in. It's chasing me. Jesus. Missing my electrolytes today. They would have helped. Or some food. I've not brought any food. I did have a, have a banana and like a like a breakfast bar this morning. This morning on, on my drive here, and I did have a boost as well at the petrol station. <laughs> a double boost. I should have brought it with me, but I ate it before I set off for energy. But yeah, I've got no food, no water. This is where I was before, and I decided to go all the way down and back up and back again oh yeah I really felt it in my legs that one it's crazy because the mileage of this is nothing today and although it is steep it, you know I'm used to this so I should be okay not too sure why I'm struggling with my legs today I'll be glad just to tag this now and then start heading down oh I can't wait for some food and a drink
old one of Coniston. I think it's 802, I'll check it in a sec. Let's touch the cairn. Here we go. Yes, made it. So we've got to get back, back down to down there. I'm guessing we come down this steep bit here. Follow this path all the way around. Let's have a look at the cairn. We head this direction overlooking Coniston, which is lovely. Range just stopped. And then we just need to pick up the path going down. And that's what, obviously I walked across on the Cumbria Way, all the way round. Round the outside, round the outside. Yeah, I remember cutting through all the way here and all the way, and we carried on round. Look, I see quite a lot of people now. We'll follow that zigzag all the way down I think by the tan and all the way back. Look at that, beautiful. That'd be great there for a for a wild camp or a swim. You can see people on the top where we've come from. I must admit I'm skip I'm skipping this wiggly windy route here. I'm just coming straight down. <laughs> just cutting out the corners. I'm not going, I'm not zigzagging all the way down. Just a long windy path all the way down now, I think. Ah, yes, this is a bit of what I to see. Brilliant, with all the mines. Ooh. Historic buildings, do not climb or remove stonework. Yes, yeah, 1750 to 1950. Yeah, I wonder if we can just sit here and just fly my drone up there and have a little mooch. Let's get it out and have a look. So, flew my drone round, the winds got up, lost it, lost it, lost my Avata, can you believe it? I've had it about seven months, gone. It crashed, I can't record, I had no memory card in my goggles, so I can't see where it crashed. So, I'm just going to have to leave it because it's gone round here somewhere, it could be anywhere up there, I'll never see it. So, I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm, in, I'm insured on it, thankfully, so it covers fly away, so I, can, I should be able to claim and get get a new one. Bit of a shame. So no footage and no drone. Gutted. Look all the old wires. Go up there. Just strewn across the path. Great to see though. I'm going to be in high spirits, even though I hopefully you could hear me with the wind before, but I wasn't going to bother looking for it. I'll never find it in all the slate. So, yeah, it's gone. Time to get down now, and now I do need a pint. <laughs> so, today was seven Wayne Wrights. And an extra little peak as well as it makes eight little uh, summits for today which is good and i'm so glad i came out because if i had just checked the weather 
I probably wouldn't have come because I knew it was going to rain today. I had nothing to do and I thought it's going to take me an hour and a half to get there. Set off. Yeah, really good decision. Not if you can see, but I'm desperate for some water. Just found a little place here. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Oh, I needed that. Perfect. And this today, so that path there, we're joining back onto the path that we came up before. So we came up this top one here, all the way around there, and wangled our way up here. That's where we went today, over the tops. We've been all the way around, all over those. And now we're going to join back on the same path at the end, which is good. Nearly back into Coniston, yes. So what I might do, I might finish off the video now. Um, you can stay till the end. I might nip in the pub, might do some footage in there, we'll see. But thank you for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it today. It was just a little get out. I know it's not a big epic adventure or anything, but seven Wainwrights around the Lake District. Fantastic, really enjoyed it. Go to the lost my drone, but it is what it is. Uh, weather changeable, sunny this morning, still raining a little bit now. Um, I've done 21k today or 21.5k, so not too bad. And I've been going for about six and a half hours, but I have stopped a few times. And yeah, if you like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. Uh, it's free, doesn't cost you anything, and you'll just get notified of any new videos. Uh, and like I said this morning, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. I don't know what's coming next week, I'm not too sure yet, I've not been out, I need to get out and about. But I will do an update video as well, very soon, to let you know uh, some of the things I've got planned that are coming up over the next few months, got some exciting things. But yeah, I'm going to sign off now then, because it's raining, it's pissing it down. But I'm nearly back into Coniston and I'm going to find a pub and get some food. So, thank you for watching, catch you on the next one. Peace.